On a low carbohydrate diet, you haven't got that process happening. To blame cholesterol for heart disease is like blaming the fire trucks for the fire. It's like blaming the ambulances for the accidents. Well, they must have caused it. Have you noticed that they're always there? Can you see that reasoning? We have, we have quite a few books in our library at Misty Mountain, and I'll write them down at the end of the lecture. I realize I didn't write down rest yesterday's books. I'll do it all at the end of this lecture. The Great Cholesterol Con by Dr. Malcolm Kendrick. Notice what he calls his book. He's a cardiovascular surgeon, The Great Cholesterol Con. And this is what he said in his book. For the first time, normal levels of a normal, vital body substance is being called a disease. We have a book, an Australian doctor, Dr. Peter Dingle. His book is The Great Cholesterol Deception. We have another another book called The Great Cholesterol Myth by Johnny Bowden. And there is an e-book by another cardiovascular surgeon, Dr. Dwight Lundell, called The Great Cholesterol Lie. We have another book called The Great Cholesterol Hoax. We're running out of words. And in her book, Put Your Heart in Your Mouth, Dr. Natasha Campbell McBride, she's saying the same thing. These people don't know each other. They're from all over the world and they've come to the same conclusion. It is not cholesterol.